Hey, Kelly, that's right. The number of jobs supported by the wind industry from construction to manufacturing did hit a new all time high last year of 114,000 jobs. So companies like Avon Grid Renewables are actively recruiting. The company has some 60 wind facilities like this one across the United States, another five that are under construction. So finding those technicians is a top priority. They climb to the top of these 300 foot turbines to service them and ensure that they're efficiently providing power to the larger regional supply grid. The majority of these turbines are made in the U.S., but experts say the supply chain is, of course, global and that tariffs may hinder that job growth moving forward. We would have been hiring more people if it weren't for the current tariffs. And if the tariffs increase, as the president is proposing, that will either further reduce our growth or could at some point lead to uh, a decline in the number of uh, jobs in the wind industry. Now, that's something we did see in the solar industry. Tariffs kicked in. There were some job losses, but they eventually rebound. So some uncertainty for the industry moving forward. But like we said, record growth in the past few years. Kelly, back Kate, over that, to you. That's a harrowing climb. What do these jobs pay? <laughs> so these these technician jobs in particular can pay a median of about $50,000. You can move up, you know, the ladder, you know, as a, a leader on one of these sites, managers, developers, they can make into the six figures. These companies are also paying with competitive benefits, some signing bonuses. They're actively recruiting across state lines. As we all know, it is a tight labor market, and they are also focusing on hiring veterans right now. And that's where the jobs are. Kate, great stuff. Thank you so much.